Okay, back at the 150. We got rain last night, so I sent Cody and Tim down to Brush Hog. Ah, uh, oh, there's an old pasture that needs to be done, so that's Cody leaving right there. Hopefully, get this thing and can see him go. Anyway, um, almost done here with the uh, manifolds. As you can see, that one's in. I forget where I left off because, to be quite honest with you, I haven't messed with this thing in over a week. Uh, yeah, a lot of people were complaining about how I was doing this, and yeah, it's a mother of a job. It's not a good job at all. As a matter of fact, anybody that has ever done one of these things is like, huh, that is a job that you just either throw away the truck or you give it to someone you absolutely hate to do. But you know what, I'm not the kind of guy to give up on stuff and I'm, I take challenges with grace. And uh, to me this is a challenge and I'm going to do it. Uh, I talked to a guy yesterday and he has done several of these and he says, well, he said the easiest thing is to do exactly what you're doing except the, uh, you know, you have to pull the starter and you have to do the air conditioner compressor. He says, but the one thing that he does is actually unbolt the right side or the passenger side of the the uh, engine and jack the engine up so you can get in there to take the manifold off. Which, you know what, I don't know if he's ever done, he has not done one this new. The last one he did was an 06, which is different. So, I think 06, might have been 05. Anyways, whatever it was, it was not this model. But anyhow, with that being said, I am almost done. All I have to do is put in the last four studs the last four studs on the bottom and I'm gonna put the last of uh, I got two nuts up top here that are gonna be done and I'm putting never seize on everything or anti seize on everything just because it's the smart thing to do what do I do with that stuff I know I just had it anyways I'm gonna go ahead and put that anti seize never seize crap on there and uh, we'll get started with the uh, stud so I'll meet you underneath the truck Okay, we've been fighting with the air compressor, or air conditioner compressor. Tim's putting the belt on now. I just got it. You got it? Yep. All right. I did not buy a new belt yet, but I'm going to replace that belt the next time I get down to Napa, because Napa know-how. Anyway, uh, it's a 10 millimeter wrench socket on this thing with an extension, and I put never seize on it so that it would, you know, never seize up on me. And uh, I think I'm seated the way it's supposed to be. I got my headlight on, so yeah, it seems to be working really well. The headlight, anyway. Uh, I just want to make sure that everything is where it belongs, and it is. Sometimes I'll tap that with a hammer to make sure that it seats, but I think I'm good. I don't need to do that today. Oh, next thing is this ugly looking thing. This is the starter. Um, I don't know if you ever saw one like that. I've never seen one that shoots straight out like that, but it does. It's got a long spline shaft into it, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put never seize around here so that it, you know, never seizes up on me. The last when I went to take it out of that hole, that hole up in there, and there's the flywheel. Or the, yeah, the the flywheel. Um, it was kind of stuck. And I don't like it when it's stuck. So it goes through, it goes, it's aluminum that goes to steel. So there's an oxidization or electrolysis that's going on there that needs to be put to a stop. So I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, never see right on that thing. Now I never did disconnect the uh, electrical stuff from the, the wires from the starter. I never, I didn't have to because I disconnected the battery. Um, this here will just kind of halt the electrolysis that's going on in here. Um, yeah. I had a guy contact me and say that he enjoyed my videos on here, which, you know, that's why I do them. Because I enjoy making them and, you know, producing them, editing. Editing's a bit of a bitch. But, uh, anyways, what he was saying was that he admired the fact that I could tear into an engine or tear into a piece of farm equipment and still have the uh, musical side too, like with a banjo and whatever else I do. And he wanted to know if I had a CD out, which I found to be rather hilarious because, um, oops, excuse me. 
I really am not that good. And you can't see me anyway because of the headlight. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and stuff this thing back up in its hole. And then I'm going to go ahead and, uh, yeah. I'm going to stuff it back up in there and I'm going to fight with those bolts for the next two hours. Okay, so I've got the flanges put on. Let me grab my flashlight here. Flanges are put on. The uh, There was no heat shield on this, this particular manifold. Um, I have tightened everything up to where it is pretty friggin' tight. I uh, got the air conditioner compressor on, of course, I think I already said that, and now the starter is in, and yes, I actually got that top bolt, which was a real cocksucker, mind the language. Anyways, with that being said, go ahead, Tim, fire the bitch up. Alright. So, what I'm going to do is let this thing run a little bit and warm up and then I'm gonna go ahead and tighten all of the uh, studs back up again so that you know it settles in good because a little bit of heat they'll settle in you know if they'll settle in real nice and I just think it's a smart thing to do uh, probably some armchair mechanical say no nah, no nah, you don't have to do that but you know what the last time I did manifolds I did that it seemed to work out pretty good and I see some smoke and stuff coming off of there. So the uh, the uh, yeah the new uh, exhaust manifolds are on. Everything is hooked up. It didn't shut down. And there's no bells or whistles going off in that cab, are there? No. But anyways, yeah. So the next step is to actually put that front axle back in. It's coming from exhaust manifolds. Um, I have to replace this uh, tie rod end. And I have inners and outers, but I don't know that I need to do the inners. They don't, they don't feel bad at all. So I'm just going to do the outer on this one. And then if that's a problem, I'm going to have the front end of the line. And if it's a problem, they'll deal with it somewhere along the line. Go ahead and rev that engine up a little bit and see if you can hear any ticking. It actually sounds pretty good. Rev it up. What? What's the matter with it? Huh? Oh yeah, I got it all disconnected. I don't have the... I got the intake manifold off and there's some... Uh, well, I got the intake manifold. I got the uh, the oxygen sensor is off, and that's one reason why it'll not run correctly. Okay, so we're just gonna let it heat up a little bit, and then we'll shut her down and retorque those manifolds. And when we do, see here it is, right here. It's this guy right here that's disconnected, and the, I'm sure there's a couple of other ones. There's something there that looks like it's off, but. Anyway, at least I know that the alternator's working right and everything's uh, according to where. Get your hands out of there. Anyway, yeah, till next time.